just going to stand behind you and kind of observe. I'm looking at all the Lumbo Pelvic Landmarks, so Iliac Crest, here go ahead, this one. Iliac Crest, PSIS, that's two. I'm looking for symmetry in the height of her Iliac Crest. Um, looking at her posture, her scaps, everything. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have you go ahead and you'll turn this way, okay? And then I'm gonna have you bend forward and try not to bend too much from up here, just kind of at your waist, okay? Good. Good. Turn. A little over pressure. Good. All right. Now, don't make me move you. Good. Look up. You okay with that? Good. You can put your hands on your hips for me, and now you're gonna bend backwards. Good. Same thing here, a little, a little over pressure, all right? Don't let me move you. Good, relax, you okay with that? Okay, great. Can you now go down to the side? You can use your hand, put your arms by your side. Good, here, over pressure, okay. Don't let me move you. Good, now bend to the other side. Good. Over pressure. Don't let me move you. Good. Relax. All right. So now we're going to do what's called an H and I test. Um, you don't have to do this with all patients in the scan, but for this particular patient, um, say she presented with back pain, we would want to assess um, the quadrants as well as the each individual plane of motion. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you bend sideways like we just did, and then you're going to come forward. Okay, so come forward towards me. Good. You okay with that? Yeah. All right, so I'm using this as a mobility test and provocation. So now we're gonna, and um, to the side. This also tests for instability of the lumbar spine. Uh, it's a good screen for that. It doesn't necessarily tell you where the instability is, but it could tell you, indicate um, presence. Okay, so now we're gonna bend forwards first and then come to the side. So go ahead and bend forward for me and then come to this, bend to this side. Good. Come back to the middle, bend to the other side. Good. Back up. Okay, any pain with that? Good. And she didn't show any signs of instability, but you're looking for things to be different in one quadrant or another, lack of mobility or pain. Um, in a quadrant, if it's the same in the H and I, same quadrant, that would be an indication of um, like a facet problem. And then if it's different, if the results are inconsistent, that would lead you to think that there's an instability problem. Okay, so go ahead and face me now. Good, so I want you to just do a full squat. Just do a normal squat. Good, how's that? Good. Okay, great. So, that's just a good functional screen of range of motion and strength at the hip, knee, and ankle. So now we're gonna have the, we're gonna test the plantar flexor strength, so your calf muscles. So I want you to just use your fingertips here for balance, and then you'll stand on one leg and you'll do calf raises, as many as you can. Good. All right, go ahead and switch legs again. So I just had her do five, but the norm would be 25 on each side. Next, what we're going to do for the lower extremity, we're going to go into our basic reflexes. So go ahead and cross your leg. And down here, we've got three, four, five. Press one. To do our upper motor neuron, so check for clonus. Here, yoga bends here. Okay, normal. Okay, so then next, what we're going to do is this is a slump test. Fill it for a neuromeningeal tension. 
So we're gonna have you round your shoulders and just get some bad posture in there. Good. Tuck your chin down to your chest for me. And then straighten this leg out. And let me know if it starts to bother you at all. Okay, and go ahead and lift your head. Does this change anything? Okay, good. You can relax and then we can always adapt by playing with if it pulls cranially or caudally and like bending the knee to change that. Okay, so same thing, go ahead and bend your chin down to your chest. And straighten this leg out. Anything? Go ahead and lift your head. Does this change anything? Okay, good. Okay. And go ahead and sit up straight and go ahead and close your eyes for me. We're gonna do some sensation testing. So just say yes if you can feel it, no if you don't, and if you can't feel it, tell me where. straighten your legs. Awesome. Can you bring this knee to your chest? Good. Got some overpressure. Okay. And don't let me move you. Good. We're going to come here. And don't let me push you. Good. And we can already see that the hips can at least get to neutral while we're here and they can be checked further in prone. So we're gonna bend this knee. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Come here to 90, don't let me push you down. Good, don't let me pull you up. Just relax. And opposite side, go ahead and bring this knee to your chest. Feel okay? Don't let me pull you. Don't push you. Don't push you. Very nice. Go ahead and bring this down. Relax. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Don't let me push you down. Good. Don't let me pull you up. Good. Relax. And come here. Go ahead and bring your feet towards your shins. Good. And don't let me pull them down. Very nice. And big toes up towards your shins. Don't let me push you down. Very nice. Okay. So now we're going to go into a straight leg raise. I want you to dorsiflex, internally rotate, and adduct. Let me know if it starts to bother you. No. Okay. And we'll go as high as we can until we get that tension in there. favorite test. So it is a flexion, abduction, and external rotation. So we're going to come here, stabilize the contralateral ASIS, down, get a sense of that mobility. Prolocation. side joint distraction. Come on to either ASIS. And just apply that force. You can also place hands over like this. Good. And lastly we're going to just take our dorsalis pedis pulses. Two plus and posterior tip. Okay, so go ahead and lift that leg up as high as you can for me. I'm going to see if we can take it further. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Bring it down just a little bit for me. And don't let me move you. Good. Relax. I would do this on both sides. Go ahead and flip over that other side for me. Keep those hips pushed forward. Take your leg up as high as you can. Good. I'm going to see if we can get further. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Bring it down a little bit. And don't let me move you. And relax. And go ahead and lay on your, um, actually before we do that, we're gonna do some SI compression. 
So I'm just going to palpate her iliac crest and just push down and compress them. And then flip over on the other side. Let me make sure we knock out both sides. And bring it down. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead and lay on your stomach for me. I'm going to palpate for some structures. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to be palpating for the quadratus lumborum. And that runs from the iliac crest to L345. So I'm finding your iliac crest. And I'm right here. And I'm just palpating. And then I take it to the other side. And with this, I'm looking for any hypertonicity or tenderness with palpation. The other structure I'm going to palpate is the piriformis. So I'm coming right here. I'm asking the patient, how does that feel? Is that okay? That's fine. Is that okay? I'm take it to the other side. And again, I'm still palpating for hypertonicity or uh, tenderness with palpation. So while I have her on her stomach, we're going to run through some PAs. I'm going to start at T10. So to do that, I'm going to find my mark at T12 with the 12th rib. Take it up. Right there. So right here, T10. T11, T12, L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5. With your elbow on the table again, can you make a flat fist like this? With your fingers on your palm and then turn your hand this way. Okay, and hold it there. Okay, this time, can you make a bear claw like this? And turn it to the side. Hold it there. Okay, bring that bear claw up one more time. Okay, great, you can relax. Uh, now can you put your hand on the table, palm facing up. I'm going to place the ruler on your palm, and with each finger, can you reach up and touch the ruler and slide it all the way down to your hand? This time we'll test the range of motion in your thumb. So first bring your arm up here like we're about to shake hands and bring your thumb out this way, okay? And hold it right there. All right, and this time have your palm facing down and bring your thumb all the way out. Now can you bring your thumb across your palm and then bend your thumb. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to test this joint here. Okay, you can relax your hand. Can you touch each finger with your thumb? Great. Now I'm going to test the strength of your muscles in your wrist. So with your palm facing up, can you bend your wrist up and point it towards your pinky side? Okay. 
Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay. And then can you point it towards your uh, thumb side? Okay. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. All right. Now flip your palm over. Can you reach up and point it towards your uh, pinky side? Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, and switch over to your thumb side. Hold it there, don't let me move you. All right, and can you lean all the way forward and do that same thing? Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna test the strength of the muscles in your fingers. So can I have your palm facing up? Okay, and can you bend this finger up? Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. And bend this finger, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, and now your ring finger, hold it there, don't let me move you. Last one, hold it. Can you bend this finger up? Hold it there, don't let me move you. All right. Okay, with your palm facing up. Okay, can you bend this part of your finger up? Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, hold it, there. bend at your finger here. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, can you bend this part of your finger up? Hold it there, don't let me move you. And flip this finger up. Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Good. All right, can you make a duck hand with your hand? Okay. I'm gonna add some resistance. Don't let me move you. Okay, don't let me move you again. Hold it there, don't let me move you. And last one, don't let me move you. All right. Okay, and can you make a bear claw? Okay. Hold it there, don't let me move you. And hold it there, don't let me move you. And hold it there, don't let me move you. Last one. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay. Okay, and can you make a long hard symbol with your hand? Okay. Hold it there, don't let me move you. And hold it there, don't let me move you. All right. All right, with your palm flat on the table, can you spread your fingers? Hold it there, don't let me move you. And hold it there, don't let me move you. I'm gonna move this one to the left and to the right. Okay, and hold it there, don't let me move you. All right. And elbow on the table one more time with your fingers really tight, close together. I'm gonna try to pull them apart. Okay, so hold it there, don't let me move you. And hold it there, don't let me move you. And last one, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, you can relax. Okay, with your palm facing up, can you lift your pinky finger up? Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Great. And uh, palm facing down, can you bring your pinky out to the side? Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, and can you touch your pinky to your thumb? Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Great. Now I'm gonna test the strength of your muscles in your thumb. So can you put your hand on the table like we're about to shake hands again, thumb up, and can you bend your thumb all the way down? Okay, just, yeah. All right. 
hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay. And hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, I'm giving you a thumbs up. Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. And hold it there, don't let me move you. Great. Okay, elbow on the table. Can you pull your fingers together? Squeeze that thumb in tight. I'm gonna try to pull it apart. Don't let me move you, okay? So hold it there, don't let me move you. And with your hand on the table, can you pull your thumb out away from your hand? Okay. And hold it there. Don't let me move you. I'm going to try to push it in. Okay. Okay. With your palm facing up again, can you reach up and touch my hand with your thumb? Okay. Can you reach up and touch my hand? Hold it there. I'm going to try to push it down. Don't let me move you. Okay. Now can you reach up and touch your pinky with your thumb? All right. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Right. Great. Okay. I'm going to have you place your hand on the table just like this. And then can you bend your hand towards your wrist? Just like that. Okay. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay. And one more time. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Now this time, can you pull your wrist backwards? Okay. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, and one more time, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, and can you lean all the way forward this way? We're gonna do that one one more time. A little closer. Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Do a little cranial nerve testing, if you can please just close your eyes. And tell me what you smell. Smells like coffee. Okay, good job. All right. Yes, and now I'm gonna just check your uh, check your vision. So if okay. you will just keep facing me. Tell me when you can no longer see the pen. No. 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 Okay. I'm gonna check your eye movement. So now focus on the pen for me. Just move your eyes. Okay. Good job. <clears throat> So if you will, close your eyes. I'm going to touch different areas of your face. You just give me a yes when you can feel it. Yes. 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 Okay, good job. You can open your eyes. Now if you can, just clench your jaw down for me. Okay. All right. And now can you open your mouth? Say ah. Ah. Okay. Good job. Can you smile real big for me? Can you frown? Okay. Can you close your eyes and let me know if you can hear this? Yes. Is it same on both sides? Yes. Right, and then one more. I'm just going to use this tool. I'm going to vibrate it, put it on top of your head, and just tell me if it feels equal on both sides, okay? Yep. Okay, good job. All right. So now, can, I, can you shrug your shoulders for me? Okay. Can you poke out your tongue? Like that. Okay, good job. All right. So now... <clears throat> So now I'm just going to um, check a little sensation, so okay. I'm just going to touch those areas like this. Just give me a yes if you can feel it. Okay. okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Bring your hands like this for me. Yep. Now close your eyes one more time for me. Yes. 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 Okay. Put your hands to the side for me. All right. Yes. 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 Okay, I'm going to remove your slippers. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. All right, good job. All right, so now we're going to run through those one more time. So now I'm going to check to see if you can feel sharp and dull. So okay. sharp is going to feel like this, mm -hmm. dull is going to feel like this. Got it. Okay, same thing. So let's close your eyes. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Oh, thank you. Sharp. 
Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Can you please lift up your shirt for me? Mm -hmm. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Okay. You can lay your shirt back down. Okay, now hands by the saws for me. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Okay, good job. So now I just want you to relax. I'm just going to move you. Okay. So now I'm gonna do some uh, strength testing on you. Okay. All right. So first, you're gonna hold your head still. Don't mm -hmm. let me press your head back. Okay. So hold, hold, hold. Okay. Good job. So don't let me push your head to your right. Good job. All right. Now don't let me go left. Okay. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? Okay. So hold right there. Right. Good job. Can you bring your arms out like this? Yep. So hold right there. Okay, let's do arms at the side, make a bicep, perfect. So hold right there for me, good job. Okay, and now I'll bring the arms back up. Now, let's see. Let's bring the arm up overhead, okay. So don't let me straighten out your elbow, or sorry, excuse me. Let's straighten out your elbow, all right, don't let me bend it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job, same thing over here. Don't let me bend your elbow. Can you flex, bend your wrist forward like that? Yep. Okay. Right, let's go the other way. Let's bring the wrist up and back. Yep. Good job. Okay. You can do your palms up. Can you bring your thumb out like that? Yep. Perfect. Just like that. So don't let me bring your thumb in. Same thing. Don't let me bring your thumb in. Can you spread your fingers out like that? Yep. Just hold that position for me. All right, good job. So we're gonna relax the arms. Let's do arms up the side for me. I'm gonna bring your leg up here. Hold that position. Don't mm -hmm. let me bring your leg down. So hold right there. Okay, good job, same thing. Let's bring this knee up. Hold right there for me. Okay, good job. There. So keep your leg right there. Mm -hmm. Don't let me bring your foot down. Okay, good job. Same thing. Okay, good job. So you bring your toes up towards you. Yep, just like that. Good job. So keep holding, keep holding. Okay, same thing over here. All right, now just your big toe. Bring your big toe up for me. Yep. Okay, hold, hold, hold. Good job. Same thing over here. Keep it up for me. Now can you bring, point your toes down? Yep, just like that. Don't let me bring your foot up. That's where you want. Yep, good. Hold that position again. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. Now lastly, hold this position right here, your leg. Don't, me, don't let me straighten out your knee. Okay. Okay. Same thing over here. Don't let me straighten out your knee. All right, good job. Now I'm going to test some of your reflexes. All right. So you just relax. Okay. Still doing good. Mm -hmm. Relax as best you can. Good job. Just try to relax.
How are you holding up? Good. Good? All right. Let's see here. Okay. So now, have you had any bowel or bladder on issues as of late? Nope. Have you noticed any um, abnormal skin color changes? Nope. Huh? Okay. And if you will, can you lay down with your head this way, feet that way? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to check for any abnormal reflexes. Okay. Okay. And now with your eye, well, just keep facing that way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put your uh, big toes in a position. You let me know if it's bent down or bent up towards you, okay? Okay. Down. Okay. Up. Okay. All right, so now let's sit up. You can face me. All right. And then when I say you're going to close your eyes, I'm going to move this leg into a position. I want you to match it with this one, okay? Okay. All right, so go ahead and close your eyes. All right, can you match it with your left leg? Okay, good job. Let's see. Here. Keep your eyes closed for me. Hold out your hand and just let me know what you feel. Can you describe the object you're holding? Seems like a pen. Okay, good job. <clears throat> Alrighty, and so can you do, um, can I see you take your finger, touch your nose, both hands, back and forth, good job. Alright, and starting with your left leg, can you slide your heel down your shin? Okay, do it the other way, good job. Okay, so now let's stand up, we can face this way, feet together. I'm just going to assess your balance. So just stand there nice and straight. Okay, now I want you to close your eyes. Okay. Keep doing the same thing. All right, good job. Now I want to see how you walk, but I want you to walk heel toe just like this. You can just walk all the way to the staircase and come back. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you.